Four largemouth bass are just popping up at Lake Tahoe. It's a warm water fish. Lake Tahoe is a cold water lake, but somehow it's surviving up there after being introduced. Brandon Riddeman went boating in the Tahoe Keys with researchers today. Brandon, how serious of a problem is it? Bill, it's serious enough that researchers are somewhat concerned this could become a lake-wide problem. The reason, though, that it started here in the Keys is because of all the invasive weeds they have growing here, giving the fish a place to hide. This is a story you'll see only on Channel 2 tonight. For the past four years, researchers have used electrofishing boats like this one to see how many largemouth bass are in the Tahoe Keys. While they can't give us an exact population, they have no trouble turning them up. Every year we come back, we still manage to get them large or small. Just a few minutes into this study, they got a big one. The bass likely got here because someone thought it would be fun to plant them here. They reproduced, researchers think in large part because the man-made Tahoe Keys are shallow and infested with invasive underwater plants like milfoil. There's so much of the stuff growing in the Keys that a flotilla of these boats goes out every day to scrape up the stuff and haul it away. The plants give bass a place to hide and nest, and that's a bigger problem than you might think. They are opportunistic predators, so they will predate pretty much anything that fits in their mouth, and they are largemouth bass, so they have a pretty large mouth. That means they eat the trout and other native fish in the lake. And just like that, there's a new king of the food chain in Lake Tahoe. It's eerily similar to the problem at Lake Davis. California Fish and Game officials poisoned that lake to kill off invasive pike that were killing the trout. Poisoning Lake Tahoe is an idea that's likely impossible and unpopular. But developing plans to control the bass will have to come later. We don't know that much about how they behave here yet. A little bit smaller incision. Which is why they perform fish surgery, placing tags inside two dozen fish to monitor for the next year. Last year, they tagged 13 of them, but lost track of some. We don't know where they went, but there's a chance that they moved out, okay. some of them. So they've beefed up the program, placing more sensors in and around the Tahoe Keys, hopefully to get a better idea of where they're going and what they do. And one interesting thing is that the Tahoe Keys actually freeze over every winter. And since they're warm water fish, researchers don't really know how the bass are surviving and where they're going. That's something they hope to learn from this program over the winter as well. We're covering the big story live at Lake Tahoe. Brandon Ridiman, Channel 2 News.